This video is all about the Hulstrom curve, which is uh, actually a misnomer because there's two curves on it, and they show what happens to sediment um, in transit for various velocities. Uh, the key thing to know about the, uh, the graph is that it's logarithmic, so it goes up with multiples of 10. Uh, so if we took this one here, uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, and, and so on. Um, so it goes up with multiples of, of 10. Um, it's split um, with sediment size along the bottom and velocity in centimetres per second up the side. And then the sediment size is broken down further into various different sediments. So you've got the smallest ones, which are clays, then silts, then your various sands, including fine, medium and coarse, gravels, pebbles, cobbles and boulders. The first line that's marked on it is a critical erosion velocity curve. This is the minimum velocity required for various sediments to be uh, picked up and then subsequently transported by, by a river um, in a one metre depth river. So, um, if you took this particular clay particle here at 0 0.002 millimetres, that would require a velocity of 200 centimetres per second. Um, the velocity required decreases from clays because clays are bonded together into the silts. Okay, um, so if you took this particle here at 0 0.03 millimetres, that would require a velocity of approximately 35 centimetres per second. From this point here onwards, the fine sands through the boulders, much greater velocities are required to pick up and then move those sediments. Any velocities above that line and those sediments will be in, in transport. The next curve is the settling velocity curve. Those, those are the velocities required uh, for sediment to actually be deposited. Uh, so anything that falls below that line will be deposited in the river. And that's got a much more um, natural curve in that um, big sediments can be deposited at even high velocities. So if you took these boulders here, uh, they would be deposited at approximately 200 centimeters per second. Whereas um, this sand here, would be deposited at around six centimeters per second. The section in the middle is your transport section. So you've got transport and suspension down for the smaller sediments and transport as bed load for the larger.